people of the internet. Um, today's video is going to be about answering this question. Have you ever wanted to make or have you ever wondered about making your own Alexa skill but you've been a bit put off by all the coding that you need to do uh, in able to do that? Well the good news is there's now something called Storyline which is an amazing product um, which lets you write Alexa skills uh, and all you need is a bit of an imagination uh, and it's pretty much just like writing a story uh, and then you can publish your skill to the Amazon um, Alexa store uh, and then other people can use it so I'm going to show you that in this video show you a couple of examples of uh, a couple of skills I've made and had certified by Amazon and which is now available to everyone in the UK uh, I'm going to show you how you kind of put, pull a skill together and the different things you can do um, so enjoy okay so here we go let's get into creating a skill using storyline so uh, first of all let's give it a name so this is my random name generator random name. I'll just call it random name there for now and the first thing I want to do is add a branch so I just hover over here click a plus and then I can leave any messages I want so welcome let's pick a name at random full stop are you ready question mark okay so far straightforward so now I need to branch off of here Uh, which it places here, so let me just move this one around. So I'll click out of it and drag it around first. So make some room. So, what I'm going to be doing here is just uh, collecting a user response, and you can color code this uh, if you want to as well. So, I'm going to change this one to be green because that's a user response. Uh, and I've asked uh, the user, are you ready? So they're going to be saying yes or no. So you put a double slash, yes. Uh, I need to add another branch, double slash, no. And then it's always worthwhile doing a double slash else. And that's if the user says anything other than yes or no, you can do something with that then. So let's just move these around. It's really intuitive user interface this. The guys that have made it have done a, an amazing job. Um, so let's do something for yes. So all this is gonna do is uh, come up with a random name out of a list. So to do that, you make sure I've clicked in equal, equal. Uh, and then first name, Bob. And let's just expand that so I can write below it. Equal, equal, Roy. My name, Stuart. Let's have a girl's name, Beth. Caroline. And then a the funny one. Cuthbert, why not? There's not enough Cuthberts in this world. Okay, uh, if I say no, if the user said they're not ready, that probably presumes they, uh, they don't want to continue with their skill anymore. So let me just do a stop function here. So, and this is linking off the main node uh, so if at any time the user says stop then it will bring them down this branch uh, and when the user does say stop I'm just going to say ok see you soon now what I do with this one if I click it and I can link from there to here 
and then if they say else so at the minute I don't know what I'm going to do with that so I'm just going to link it back to the the beginning of the skill here so let's do that drag it up to here there we go and then what I need to do is once a random name has been chosen I'm going to loop it back around to the start as well so So it's very simple, it's just looping round and it'll pick a random name from this list each time and I can expand that list if I want to as well. Uh, but now I've done that, let's test it in the browser. Welcome, let's pick a name at random. Are you ready? Yes. Roy, welcome, let's pick a name at random. Are you ready? Yes. Bob, welcome. Let's pick a name at random. Are you ready? Yes. Beth, welcome. Let's pick a name at random. Are you ready? Yes. Carolyn, welcome. Let's pick a name at random. Are you ready? Stop. OK, see you soon. So as you can see that's really really simple, I've got a, a little skill, it's not a very useful skill um, but I've got that up in a matter of minutes uh, and all you need is a bit of imagination and you can go wild with this. So if I look at some of my others, uh, so I've got one called Nottingham Sayings uh, and for those that don't know I'm from Nottingham uh, and there's some unique sayings around this part of the world and I've captured them within this skill and this is a skill I've actually got published as well well let's test this one just so you can see what it's like hey up me duck welcome to the Nottingham sayings skill you'll hear some well-known and some less well-known sayings that the good folk of Nottingham say okay get ready for a saying make it backwards let's make that it go backwards put it in reverse say yes for another one yes here comes a saying, a mom. That mom. means I have arrived home safely. Say yes to hear another saying. Yes. Yes. Here comes a saying, you dotty bogger. You dotty bogger. That means I find you really disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Say yes for another saying. Help. Okay, here's some help. I will take you back to the start of the skill. All you have to do is say yes after each saying to hear another. So you get the eye of that. You get the idea of this one. So it's pretty. It's not that dissimilar to what I've just shown you. So it's a list of different sayings and a few actions that loop it round as well. Now I have, as I said, published this one, and you can come in here and look at the dashboard, and you can see uh, how many people have been using it. So. Um, since I published this one in, in November, I've had 155 unique users, 252 sessions, and uh, 1,256 number of interactions in total on that one. Uh, and actually that one uh, is, it got me some Alexa socks. I'll talk about the dev perks in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that got me some Alexa socks, which I was quite pleased about. I'll show you them if I can. In a minute uh, the other one I've got published is the F1 quiz let's wait for this one to load up so this one is just asking the user questions and they can respond uh, with one two or three uh, only one of those will be correct uh, if they get the wrong answer they get the chance to go back and answer again if not they carry on to the next question and so on and so on and so on um, so let's show you that one Welcome to the Formula One quiz. Are you ready to begin? Say yes or no. Yes. Great, here is your first question. Who won the 1996 F1 championship? Say one for Michael Schumacher, two for Max Verstappen, three for Lewis Hamilton, four for Sergio Perez, and five for Sebastian Vettel. 
Two for John Alessi, or three for Damon Hill? Two. Sorry, that's not right. Jean Alessi did win one GP in Canada 1995 driving for Ferrari, but he never won the F1 World Championship. Would you like to try again? Yes. Great, here is your first question. Who won the 1996 F1 Championship? Say one for Michael Schumacher, two for John Alessi, or three for Damon Hill. One. Oops, that's wrong. Michael Schumacher is the most successful F1 driver. So you get the idea of, of that one. So and this one, it looks messy, but if you follow it through, it does make sense. Um, and there's no code in it, so that's the main thing about this. You don't need to do any code at all to get your basic skill up. Um, and once you, you're ready and you're happy, you've tested it um, in browser. Next step is you hit deploy. When you hit deploy, what that does is it um, publish, publishes it to uh, the uh, Amazon Alexa um, dev pages, which you can go to and log into. You need to set up an account for that. Um, and then once you're there, what you can do is you can click test and that will allow you to test this on your own Echo devices. So whether you've got an Echo or an Echo Dot, um, you can test it. And I've got some video of that that I'll show you as well to see you can see it working. And then finally, once you're happy, uh, you just fill in some details about the skill, add a skill picture that will go on the this kind of skill pages in the Alexa app. Um, and then you can ask uh, Amazon to certify the skill for you. And as soon as it's certified, it's then available to everyone. Um, now, currently, Storyline is free, which is great. Um, there might be a plan to charge for it at some point in the future. Um, and one thing I want to say is the guys that have uh, created this are awesome. They've got a, a good, strong community um, on social media. Um, and when pretty much people ask for help they get it straight away uh, when people make suggestions of additional features they'd like to see in here uh, not long after it usually gets added which is great one of those is the API request so um, this API request um, basically allows you to connect to different web services um, a good example might be a weather API um, you might want to pull in weather information into your skill you can use this to do it now that does involve a little bit more complex uh, um, stuff within storyline and i might do a video on that uh, another time if you if you want to see that let me know um but yeah this is storyline it is amazing um if you if you're interested in uh, pulling the skill together and getting it uh, published for everyone else uh, to use give it a go it's really good um, and if you want any advice on it just uh, give me a comment and I'll help you the best I can Alexa open Nottingham sayings hey up me duck welcome to the Nottingham saying skill you will hear some well known and some less well known sayings that the good folk of Nottingham say getting a saying for you now who worry we that means who was he with? Welcome to the Formula One quiz. Are you ready to begin? Say yes or no. Yes. Great, here is your first question. Who won the 1996 F1 Championship? So that's storyline in a nutshell. I hope you like it. I hope it sparked your imagination uh, and you've got a few things in mind that you'd like to um, uh, have a go at with with Storyline to create your own skill. Um, if you do get one up and running, um, let me know. I mean, join the Storyline uh, Facebook community and get in touch, say hi on there. Um, I'd love to try out other people's um, skills that they've done, especially if you're in, in the UK like me. Um, but anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you like what you've seen. Uh, please like the video if you like it. If not, thumbs down. Just as appreciated as a thumbs up uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i really appreciate that thanks a lot